So what female wouldn't want to feel like a princess and a queen in her own holiday? Here we are at Shadow Barossa at the collection, just outside of Lindock in the gorgeous Barossa Valley. And you'd be forgiven to think you're somewhere in France, Germany or in Europe with this unbelievable antique collection. You can see the gorgeous pieces and also there's some lovely chandeliers. And we have Karen here from Shadow Barossa who will be taking us through just one of the pieces to tell you a bit about it. I've got these visions of Marie Antoinette sitting on these chairs saying, let them have cake. She's just adorable. Look at these. What's this little character? Little drag on. You can appreciate all the blinds are closed to ensure the integrity of these pieces are, are kept as is. Isn't it just amazing? It's like its own, own art collection. Saying it's an antique collection is really not doing it enough justice. My mum would love this lady. Little bustier, gorgeous. Primavera. Look at this exquisite plates. So the other thing to remember is that to come and have a look at this collection, it's five dollars per person and available for group bookings. And as I said, I've never seen anything like it in Australia, so it's definitely well worth it. But we'll introduce Karen to come and have a talk about this particular piece over here because it's one of their um, spectacular pieces. So thanks very much for having us here, Karen. That's okay. You're more than welcome. Now this prize piece here is, is. Oh, sorry. That's You're right. Stuff to up. So keep going. Just keep going. Yep. Okay. So this piece here is a serves urn. So it's one of the prize pieces of our collection. So the, the picture that you see on the front here is Louis the Fifteenth celebrating his one and only victory. So it's <laughs> quite a unique piece. One wow. of a pair. The picture on this one actually does carry right the way round. Wow. It's actually been featured even in the collectors. And so Karen, you said that most of these pieces are from the 17th and 18th centuries? That's right, yes they are. Yes, and yes, Herman Tum, uh, who, who basically collected all of these things, he bought some here in Australia and also went overseas. Went overseas and, season and then just built on the collection. Mm, beautiful. So, unbelievable. And we'll come and show you just outside. And the chandeliers, I think my lounge room would look fantastic with one of these chandeliers. You wouldn't have any room for a lounge in your lounge room if you had this chandelier in there, Jack. It's gorgeous. Let's have a look out through the, um, the gardens. And the Queen herself opened these gardens. And there's some ro beautiful collection of roses. But the most interesting thing is, as you look over this vista, you see vineyards, gorgeous roses, and gum trees. So it's an absolutely great example of the difference between Australian and uh, European sort of feel to it. So really epitomises the Barossa, doesn't it, Jack? Let's have a look. Gorgeous table and chairs. This little baby gets her own case.
ye old grand piano. Why don't we head upstairs and we'll give you a bird's eye view of my favourite chandeliers here. Magnificent side cupboard. And to be honest, for someone who's not particularly into antiques, which I'm not, this collection, I, I think it's interesting to everyone from all different backgrounds. It's something we're very lucky to have here. When I look at these things, Jack, I always wonder what they were actually used for in their time, whether they were just for show or whether they were actually used and, and um, you know, ever thought that mm. they would be, you know, considered as wonderful antiques. And the final thing we'll do here at Shadow Barossa, we've shown you all that jazz, the fantastic homewares and giftwares. We've shown you the beautiful collection which is out the back of Shadow Barossa. Now we head back out the front and taste some wine because Shadow Barossa is a winery through and through.